guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing part two of testing Quo Beauty's new makeup line. Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada is probably our most popular drugstore to purchase high-end and drugstore makeup and they have their own in-house brand called Quo Beauty which has recently been totally redone. So if you're interested in seeing me test out more Quo Beauty newness then just keep on watching. I am currently wearing all Quo Beauty on my face, all of the products that I reviewed and tested in my part one of this video, so make sure you do check that out. So I have three different eye products to play around with. So we're going to try out the Pump Up the Volume Maxi Volume Mascara, the Black Liquid Precision Marker in Jet Black. Super, super excited to try this. And then I decided to pick up a fun gel liner. This is their One Stroke Gel Liner 9 Hour Wear, and this is in Mighty Mint. So we're just gonna do a pretty basic eye look, no shadow, just gonna do liner, mascara, and this on the waterline. I thought that would be really pretty. And then I had so many requests to pick up one of their cream blushes. These look so freaking similar to the Glossier ones. I will pull out my Glossier one and do a comparison when we put this on the face. But this is their Featherweight Cream Blush and I picked up the shade Angelic 42. Then I also picked up two lip products. I did test out a gloss, their plumping gloss in my first video. I liked it but I wasn't crazy about it. So I wanted to test out two new products, pink everyday colors for me. So I grabbed their Quo Velvet Kiss Liquid Lipstick and this guy is in Gumdrop. Super excited about this formula. And then I picked up the HD Diamond Gloss and this is in the shade Rose Quo. So this is like their super glittery metallic gloss. So we will see how we like that. I just thought it looked pretty. I think that going in order of application, it makes the most sense to test out the blush first. We have the Quo Beauty Blush and in here you get 13 milliliters of product. I will list link all the products down below with their pricing and all that information. So this is the Quo one and then I grabbed some other ones to compare. So we have the Cloud Paint in Puff. This is 10 milliliters. So you do get three milliliters more product in the Quo one. And then I also have the Maybelline Cheek Heat here, all super similar packaging made to reflect the Glossier one, I'm sure. Um, this is the Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Blush in Nude Burn and these are eight milliliters. So you're actually getting a lot more product, five more milliliters in the um, Quo one than you are in the Maybelline one. I have a full video on the Maybelline one. I don't like these. They're not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually my most popular video trying these and I don't like them. So that's great. Wouldn't recommend. So here is the Quo Beauty in Angelic. It does seem to be a little darker of a pink. Honestly, more of my ideal pink. And then we have Puff over here, which is definitely much more coral. Puff feels like a lighter formula, a little more sheer, whereas the Quo ones feel a little bit thicker and a little bit more pigmented. So the Quo one here has left a stain. Um, and all of the Quo Beauty products are cruelty free and 100% vegan as well. So I'm going to just put some more on the back of my hand, just stain it up again. I feel like a little will go a long way with this too, which makes getting a lot of product even better for the price. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but I haven't powdered my face, at least my cheeks at all. The staining of the blush makes me think that it's gonna last really nicely throughout the day. Typically blush is the first thing to go on your face, but the staining makes me think that it's gonna last long throughout the day. Um, and I am building it up a decent amount just to see what it looks like with like full pigment. Yeah, I would say that the Glossier ones are a little bit more sheer and they don't stain as much. These are a little bit thicker and more intense in pigment, but definitely creamy, easy to blend. But yeah, they do leave a little bit of a stain on the skin, so something to be aware of. That's really pretty though. So my whole hand now is pretty much pink, so you probably want to work on the back of something else. Even my fingers that I was using to blend out the product there are Pink. I feel like it should be marketed as a blush stain. Um, I wonder what makes it so intense because usually vegan products they have to formulate with different types of dyes. 
um because they can't use animal dye obviously so definitely interested in picking up more shades now i think the nude would be really pretty typically i feel like with nude cream blushes they blend away into nothing and then there's no point but these are really nicely pigmented so i'm really impressed with that it looks really pretty in person too just looking in the mirror it doesn't look textured on the skin it doesn't add like any sheen or anything now we're going to move into eye products so i'm going to test out the quo beauty liquid precision marker as i said i have tried this out in their um brown color i can't think right now it's pretty early in the morning when i'm filming this you kind of can't go wrong with this kind of applicator it's the easiest to use in my opinion and it's more a matter of how quickly it dries out is what I use to gauge if it's going to be a repurchase or not so yeah it's kind of hard to judge these right off the bat as long as it's really black and easy to work with it's a good in my book but there's no telling how long it's gonna last we're gonna do a little wing today I think I'll probably mess up and then it'll become a big wing but ooh, that was very easy very black Wow, that was really easy, especially if you're not someone who likes doing a wing and just wants a line on the upper lash line. That was very quick, very easy, very pigmented. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna wing it out a little bit. I think that this is probably the worst liquid liner I've ever done. They are so uneven. Um, I've had a cup of coffee this morning and I haven't eaten yet, so my hands are a little bit shaky. I'm going to go ahead and try and figure this out. Um, the liner is relatively even now. Um, I'm gonna give that liner the benefit of the doubt and just say it's because my hands are shaky from coffee and not having eaten and it's early in the morning and that is user error because I was totally fine with the brown shade. Um, it is very black. This is the Pump Up the Volume Maxi Volume Mascara from Quo Beauty, obviously. It is 7 milliliters and this is a very, very thick, voluminous applicator. Um, these are not the types of mascara that I would typically go for. It's really thick. Um, if I'm going to go for a vol voluminous mascara, it's usually going to have an hourglass applicator. But we're going to try it out. It seems like a pretty wet formula as well. It is a little difficult to get the base of the lash because it's such a thick brush um, and it is real hair it's not a plastic applicator it is a real hair applicator i'm kind of having to wiggle the product through so that it doesn't get stuck in clumps unfortunately because i went so thick with the eyeliner um not that i wanted to but that's what happened it's gonna be hard for you guys to see the mascara you can kind of see the side there i don't think it's anything revolutionary i'm going to keep playing around with it but it kind of gave more length than it gave volume which is interesting it was just a more difficult brush to work with i have mascaras that i prefer over this on first impression um and i like a mascara that i can use for both my top and bottom i don't love having to reach for different ones for different purposes now we're going to try out the quo beauty one stroke gel liner this is in mighty mint 44. i thought this would be fun for the waterline especially for summer oh hmm interesting so i did just roll up the liner and you can't actually roll it back down it is only a one way so don't roll it up all the way interesting because then you can't really tell how much product is truly in there i'll have to be very careful not to break this but i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the waterline that's really pretty i think i'm gonna like this as long as a waterline liner is very creamy and pigmented um i like something very very creamy because i have sensitive eyes and if I have to tug at them, then they will water and ruin my makeup. So I like it to be very, very creamy. And it is. That was incredibly easy. It's very pigmented. The liner is really pretty. I'm going to go in with my Marcel Waterproof Ultimate Volume Mascara on my lower lash line. Just because this looks crazy if you don't put mascara with it, I feel. Lower lash line mascara is on. 
looking a little crazy liquid lipstick from Quo. So this has 10 milliliters in it and this is in the shade Gum Drop 12. I love this packaging. I think it's so cute with the little tube and then the wand. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this. Do a slight overline because that's what I like to do. Pretty, pretty pink shade and they have lots of shades in these as well. So it is a brighter color than the packaging would suggest. A little more corally, warm toned, which I don't love. It's a very thin liquid formula. Um, I'm trying to think of what it would be similar to. It's very, very thin, but doesn't feel too dry. I don't like super warm toned pinks on me. I just don't. And um, the formula is really nice. It does dry down. It's a very thin formula. I would want to try out some other shades, maybe like a nude. Very comfortable on the lips. I could see this being very long wearing as well. Now we're going to try out the HD Diamond Gloss. Again, they have a few shades of these. This is the Rose Quartz, probably like the most wearable that they have. And it is a pretty glittery, shimmery gloss. The other gloss they have, like the plumping one, is definitely a thicker gloss than this. This is very thin. More of like a shimmer top coat than a gloss, I would say. It doesn't really have much sheen to it. Feels like it's slightly like burning. Not in a plumping way though. It's definitely burning my lips a little bit. I do have a sensitivity to glitter in products occasionally like glitter liners always make my eyes burn and itch um, and it's kind of doing the same with the lips so I think I'll be passing this on it does seem to be irritating my lips a little bit not in a plumping way this isn't plumping at all it's a different sensation it just feels a little bit burning first product that we tested is probably my favorite of the bunch today as you guys could tell this is the featherweight cream blush I think it looks really really nice don't like it with this eyeliner and I don't like it with this lip but with another look I think it would be really really pretty I'm definitely interested in trying out the other shades you get a lot of product for the price and a little goes a long way so I definitely recommend this similar to Glossier not a dupe necessarily because the consistency is different but the look on the cheeks is very similar so I think these are really nice I would like to pick up some more of these they're very pretty quote beauty precision marker in black this you I saw I struggled with I honestly think it's just user error and it's not the product's fault very black very pigmented as I said it kind of depends on how long the product lasts before it dries up is what I would gauge for a repurchase but I think it's a good product if you need an easy liquid eyeliner pump up the volume mascara this is gonna be a no from me on first impression obviously all of this is just my first impression but I'm just it didn't really give me volume there's other mascaras that I do gravitate towards for volume would not recommend next we have the one stroke gel liner I think it's a really pretty color again don't like it with this look don't like it with the lip and the cheeks but with like a nude look it would be pretty I think. I think it's a nice formula very creamy I'm sure their blacks browns all that would be really nice and it does say nine hour wear so if you need a good long lasting liner I think you would enjoy this guy. The gloss is going to be a pass for me. I just don't like the feeling on the lips. I don't like the glitter. I rather have like a juicy wet looking gloss than like a glittery topper kind of I just am not a fan of this which I probably should have anticipated I know I don't like like straight glitter glosses I like a more glowy wet looking gloss but whatever not a fan of this Quo Beauty Velvet Kiss liquid lipstick this to me you guys let me know this doesn't look like the same color as this this looks much more warm and coral whereas this looks like your classic neutral if not cool toned pink which is what I prefer but I think the formula is actually really nice it's very precise dries down nicely so I think the formula in general is good but I don't like this specific color on myself is all like this video if you liked it subscribe if you aren't already it really does help me out and please be sure to watch my part one testing because the products in general went over better in that video than this one today and with that that is all that I have for you guys today as always I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so so much for watching bye